Howdy, y'all. My name is Price, and welcome back to some more My Time at Porsche. All right, today's the day. We're going to the mines. Let's clear out our inventory a bit. Let's also check on these bricks over here. They should be mostly done, I think. Oh, just a couple of them are done. All right, so we're going to keep um, storing those up for Emily. Oh, controller's doing that thing again. All right, so we only need one more for her, actually. But let's, uh, let's put away as much stuff as we can. We do not have a lot of space in here. I kind of need to make another... Uh, let's sort. Um... What is this? Oh, that's fertilizer. Okay. I kind of need to make a, uh, a new chest here at some point. But let's uh, let's do take a little bit of time, consolidate some things. Um, we don't have these rubber fruits in here, really? Well, we'll, we'll hold on to these, rather. All right, let's move you over to there. Uh, we've got some stone there. Uh, do you have sap in there? Yep. we got needles. We don't have stored anywhere. We don't have shells stored anywhere. Meat. Okay. Um, just trying to... Give myself as much space as possible. I probably won't need it all. But I have so much stuff. So much stuff. Oof. All right. That'll have to do. How do we unlock more of these? Oh! Costs 400 gold to unlock the row of inventory. Interesting. And then another 400, another 400. Or maybe it's increasing. But we'll definitely do that sooner rather than later. Okay. Time to head off. Oh, actually. Let's just think about maybe bringing along meat because you can get a lot of stamina out of eating meat even though it's not cooked uh, more so than the apples so let's just put the shell away we'll hold on to the meat um, and then that way we're you know potentially gonna be uh, in a good spot for um, stamina if we need more um, I don't necessarily think I will Ooh, there's pinky hi pinky meow meow great to see you pinky oh hey I forget your name what's your name again Sonia chat I love her earrings. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's move on. What is, hold on. What does um, RPS stand for? Oh, gosh. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Uh, I lose stamina for this. Let's go. Yeah. I won the first one. Let's go. Yeah. Nobody wins that one. I'm going to go, yeah, again. Okay. I'm going to go, yeah, I'm going to go, yeah, got you again. I'm going to go, I've never done this one yet. Yeah. Oh, close. Yeah. Nope. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, she got me. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, she got me again. Rock, paper, scissors. Bam! I win! Yay! You sure are lucky! Cool! You can play rock, paper, scissors to improve your relationship with people a little bit. That's neat! Oh, this game. Can you go into the cafe? Not yet. Who are you? Oh, it's Presley again. Hi, Presley. Work hard and never give up. You'll be well off in no time at all. Thanks, Presley. I really like the um, the fact that this game, like, the characters have voices and stuff now. It's like, it's a lot like Stardew. But because of that, it's like, it's pretty cool. What's it say? Elevator. Do you want to spend 20 gold to switch to another area of the abandoned? Oh, interesting. No, cancel. All right. Let's do it. Pay 80 gold for a weekly pass. So they gave us a 60% discount, right? So what does it normally cost? Um, 200, I bet. All right. Let's do this. Okay. Aim the reticle at the position you want to dig. Click the left mouse button to, or attack to dig. Select pick or drill tool. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we mine stuff. Um, press the F key, uh, or left trigger, right trigger, uh, R2, um, to scan with the relic scanner. Um, the surrounding relics will show up as globes of light. Alignment, align the reticle on the globe of light for a second to detect and lock the position of this relic. Um, Press the key again to close the scanner. The relic lock on will remain. Press and hold the spacebar or B slash O to use the jetpack. Use the movement controls to move around. Open the map. Press the E key or AX to go into to go to the entrance of the ruins. Oh, if you select the map, then you can back out, I guess. Okay. So wait, is there another person here? Hey Mars! Look at my glowing radiance. Exercise makes you healthy. You need to keep balance between work and life. Okay. So. 
Let's um, let's get out of here. So jetpack around. We and we've got our pickaxe. Okay. Now let's scan. Okay. There's a thing. Oh wait, here's one. Oh, here's a couple of them. All right. Okay. Cool. All right. So it's. Oh, I, I see. I see. All right. So let's pick on down there. And now we're getting copper and tin and stone and all the stuff that we could need, y'all. This is great. So we just want to find as many of these things as we can. We've got all parts. Perfect. Oh. Now, let's do it again. There might be some more. Yeah, there's some like right next to it. So you kind of want to, um, yeah, do this kind of thing where you sort of like dig to the specific spot. We're getting soil. We're getting sand. That's great. I would like to go find an actual, like, um, mineral spot. Oh, more old parts. That's exactly what we need, y'all. Give me that. All right, cool. Now, let's look around. Says so there's one, like, right here. So we definitely want that. It's easy. Uh, but yeah, there are, there should be mineral, like, deposits. Ooh, a small engine. Um, there should be, like, mineral deposits that we can find that'll give us, like, richer... Actually, I think that this soil right here looks like it. See how it's, like, darker? Like, orange or, like, brownish? This should be giving us... Yeah, minerals. So I definitely want to smack a bunch of those as well. So we've got our two, um, what do you call them? Old parts that we needed for sure. But we're obviously going to need more of those in the future. So we might as well try and get as many as we can. And then getting a bunch of copper and tin is just going to mean like we can uh, build a whole bunch of the things that we need. We can uh, upgrade our tools, which is going to be great. So what I'd like to do, see, I see this slightly brown bit. So I'm trying to get that. Yeah, there we go. Mysterious data disk. What's this? I remember Remington mentioning something about this. Something about talking with the church. Oh, okay. Interesting. All right. So I think over here, this looks kind of brownish. Oh, yeah. This is where we want to look for stuff. Look for stuff where there's going to be minerals. Anything above us? No. Anything below us? There we go. And you? Can we mark them both? No. That one's 1104. It's 1167. So this is a little bit deeper. So let's go to the, the higher one up first. But we want to go from where the minerals are, because I want them minerals. Know what I'm saying? All right. Oh, this is actually like right on the surface. It's a fan. What? Why is there a fan? <laughs> Old technology, I guess. That's weird. All right. Um, how are we doing on stamina? 155. Okay. We're good. We're good. So yeah, this is the mining component and you find all kinds of random junk. And uh, I think you could sell some of it. You can, it looks like we have to give some of it to the church for research purposes or something, but I don't know how I feel about that. Um, but if that's how the game works, then we'll, we'll do it. But yeah, we're gonna get as much of this ore as we can. Oh my gosh, we got another data disc on accident. Didn't even know it was there. I'm just going here to get minerals. Are there any around here? No. Nope. Okay. We're getting a little bit of minerals. Want all my tin, all my copper. Oh, we're getting so much of it. How, how much do we have? We have 30 and 9. So we definitely need more tin, because that's what you need for bronze, obviously. I think there are actual tin veins, so we might look around for... I think it's kind of like a... It's almost like a tealish color. It's like a bluish teal. Um, that might have more tin. So obviously we need like a balance of both. Um, wait, I think I... This might be some... No, that's stone. Okay. Okay. Let's keep looking around. How much time do we have? What time is it? 13, 12. The day is already half over. My goodness. This goes quickly. Let's get up on top of this. Just because it can. Oh, that's a glitch. Sound there. Nothing around here for things, so I think we probably need to be a little more... We need to be lower to the ground, basically. All right. Here's a bunch. There's one. Yeah, we'll go for that one. That ain't hard. All right. But yeah, tin is going to be the thing. Ooh, power stone. Power stones are um, necessary. I forget what for. They, they power up some of the uh, higher level devices, if I remember correctly. So like some of the tables and things that we'll make, um, they'll be useful for that. All right, let's see what this is. But yeah, we might spend a couple of days just coming in here and just gathering stuff um, because it really is. These are all such useful materials. I'm going to definitely need to make some more chests to store all of our stuff. Hey, we leveled up. That's going to be our last one for um, XP boosting. 
And then we're going to finally be able to pick some things. I'll probably go down the gathering tree or maybe down the social tree. Um, combat, I feel like it's one of those ones where um, I feel like a lot of stuff with combat is going to come down to your skill um, with dodging the attacks, knowing the timings and stuff like that, and less about the abilities. The abilities will be helpful, but I feel like getting uh, better gather rates and stuff like that, we're going to gain money faster, you know? And then, you know, we can invest in, in better other stuff later. I wonder what the max level is. That'll be an interesting thing. All right, let's just get a bunch more copper and um, tin. Luckily, it does seem that whenever you get up here to get copper, you tend to get tin as well. Not at the same rate, but you still get a lot of it. Um, so the more bronze we can make, the better, because obviously it's going to be really useful for us. Now, are there... Oh, there was another data disk. They're everywhere, those data disks. It's interesting. Which is cool, because if they're worth something to the church, then maybe that'll be uh, getting us some money. But if we're just supposed to give it to them but it has a value, I'll be curious to see what that, uh, if you have to. Like, um, because the way that they they stated it, like, the way that they wrote about it, like, if you find that stuff, you should give it to the church, that whole, like, should thing, you kind of go like, hmm, do I have to? Can I keep it? Can I do something with it? Is there a balancing act there? Are people going to get mad at us for using old tech? I don't know. I'm new here. All right. Ooh, yeah, look at all that copper. So much copper. All right, how are we doing on in energy is getting pretty low and uh, you know what i haven't had to use any stamina yet and at this point it's kind of like um let's see open the map press a to go back to the entrance uh let's do that uh move to the ruin entrance hey um i haven't had to use any stamina stuff and we've gotten so much already without even having to that why why waste it i guess all right let's go talk to the church then Oh, wait, we have a question mark. There's a question mark back here. Oh, yeah, this is the Church of Light. Uh, Mysteries of the Dark Disc. So, oh, so the church is just up above here? Wait a minute. I thought the church was over there. Do, do, do. Let's run. Maybe it's the, the woman who works at the church. I forget her name off the top of my head. Oh, no, yeah, look. The church is up here. I thought it was on the other side of town. Oh, I'm thinking of the, um, I'm thinking of the hospital. I'm being silly. All right. Nora, that's her name. Hi, Nora. Let's chat. People want the guidance of the church when it comes to technologies from the corrupted world. After all, these technologies were what led to the destruction of the human... People want the guidance of the church. Do I have any gifts? I don't have any gifts. I need to start gifting people and stuff, but we, I guess we got to figure out who we, uh, uh, like. Good day, Builder. Oh dear, a data disk. You know, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I gotta be Linda. You know what this is? Of course, this is what the ancients used to store information on their technologies back in the age of corruption. It's highly dangerous because there's a chance this little item here can contain the blueprint for world destruction. It can't be that bad, right? <laughs> You're what, 18, 19? The Age of Darkness is probably just another fairy tale story to you, right? When I was young, my great-grandma told me first-hand accounts about the time before Peach, the time when folks lived in the ruins underground. She went days without food. Everyone fought, considered old when they hit 30. Oh, I said, what? Everyone fought everyone else over the most basic things. People were considered old when they hit 30, and it was always, always dark. Imagine that. That's what the end of the world looked like. And that was created by this very same dark technology stored inside this little disc. Anyhow, I'm not trying to scare you. But it's the reality of your builder business. All the dangerous technologies are spread around the world, waiting to be stumbled upon. And in the case of the research center in cities like Vega 5, expedited in their recovery. Then, calamity will strike again. So it's a priority of the church to seek out and destroy all the data disks and other dangerous relics. With help from ruin divers such as yourself, of course. So, I can give this to you. Yes, yes, that's right. The church will reward you handsomely for your efforts. We have in our position a very, a uh, vast amount of green technology learned through the ages. Wait a minute. I know that look. The church isn't against the use of good technology that can bring telesis to our society. We're only against dangerous technology. What kind of green technology? Mostly special seeds. You'll see. We can share what we have with you as long as you bring us more discs. You do know how to plant crops, right? Uh, oh dear. You should ask your neighbor Emily about how to farm. Okay, great. Here. I'll take that disc and give you some seeds to get you started. When you discover more discs, bring them to us and we'll give you more seeds. You'll be doing this world a great service. All right, so we definitely want to plant. Okay, he gave us cotton and we know we need cotton for some stuff. All right, um, how do I give you more discs? I got like 10 of them, man. Let's look at these. All right, so that's like giant mechs destroying people. 
Cities being burned by UFOs of some sort. Um, cities in ruin. And then finally, oh, that must be Peach, the great adventurer or whatever they talked about. Okay, how can I give you more seats? Chat. The people at the research center are so stubborn. Do they not know what happened with the... The people at the... How do I not give you more discs? Or do I have to like put them in my hand maybe? Let's check. Because I have four of them. I'm just curious because I'm like, I might as well stock up on this stuff while I'm here. You know, get it out of the way. Um, and they don't seem to have any value. All right, maybe I have to give them to him on a different day. Or after I finish the quest for starting it. But yeah, I need... Uh, oh, church store. Here we go. So two data discs I can get... What's this? A large planter, but I'm confused. Okay. Oh, here, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So for whatever this stuff is, microchips, I can get sisal seeds and rainbow flower seeds. For two discs, I can get one large planter box, which might not be a bad idea to start with. For three discs, I can get an apricot tree seed. For five, I can get a nitra tree seed. For eight, I can get a Cristella tree seed. Fully grown after 16 days can harvest crystals. That might be really good. Can harvest niter. Uh, can harvest apricots. Okay, now I get it. And what's all this? That's church store. This is what? Oh, dried apple slices. Thank you. Delicious. Okay, so that's what the discs are for. So I could save up discs to get... Uh, oh, we're high up. Um, here's a question. Do we take fall damage? Oh, can't jump. There we go. No fall damage. Cool. Um, okay. Let's head home. Interesting, interesting stuff, y'all. Um, we have a little bit of time. We don't have a lot of, uh, oh, no space in our inventory. That's crazy. Let's get some, um, some copper smelting up if we can. I have no wood left for fuel, huh? Wow. I got to do some wood chopping next day. Um, Let's get all those bricks. Inventory's full. It's fine. Let's get some um, so bronze. Which do I want first? Hmm. We need copper for like quest related stuff. So we're going to get it going at um, how much fuel do we have? We have three hours left of, of fuel. So I guess we'll just do one for now. Um, did I pick up those bricks yet? Can I? Oh, I don't have any space in my inventory yet. Okay, let's, uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, y'all. Too much stuff. And not enough place to put it. Don't have any space for that, 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 that. No, we, this is, we have one space left. So I definitely need to make some, uh, stuff tomorrow. Let's, uh, let's swap for, oh, that's hardwood. Hardwood I can turn into regular wood. Honestly, that might be a good idea for me right now. Oh, I can put these bricks here. We can go give these to Emily, actually. Let's go see if we can't do that. I'm going to store away the rest of this for now. Store away the rest of this for now. Um, I got to get some wood next day, y'all. Um, okay. I'm just looking at the time. We're at like 20-ish minutes in. We're a little bit under 20 minutes. So I may try and... Where is Emily? Over here? I may, 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 may try and do a little bit more on today's episode. This might be a slightly longer one. Because... Uh, because I want it. It's close. Can't go in there. All right. What time is it? 1933. It's like 730. Where is Emily? Let me just check the map. That must be her, right? She's inside, like going to sleep or something. Yep. Emily's in there. Okay. And then Bridge Neighbor Island, obviously. We got to make a fishing rod, which has got to be done soon. Emily's quest I got to finish right away. Um, the um, Not the um, planter box one, but the, uh, the stone bricks one, because that does have a time limit. If we get enough money, I'm definitely buying some more inventory slots. Um, we don't have a lot of um, energy left, so we might just go to bed for the day. And then, yeah, we'll move on to the next day. Uh, so I think that's what we're going to do, y'all. Let's do another day. Let's do another day. Double episode. Yeah, Commerce Commission is about to expire. Yep, I know all about it. I got my bricks. And then we're gonna get some, we're gonna get a bunch of wood today, so we can make a whole bunch of storage. Because I definitely need it. Definitely need it. Uh, where's she at? I keep on wanting to hit like back or something. Like I'm used to so many other games with different setups. Uh, Emily's still here. What is this? Oh, that's just my marker. Um. Okay. 
So, let's head this way. Emily should be over here somewhere. Oh yeah, she's right out front, I think. Perfect. We can finish this commission. We can go pick up another commission if we wanted to. Right, no, I'm not here for that. Commerce commission, there we go. Whoa, you sure are fast and reliable. Thank you so much. Emily is adorable. I just have to go ahead and say it, all right? Um, okay. Now, oh, let's talk to you real quick. I want to hear what your voice actually sounds like. Because <laughs> I keep trying to do people's voices when they chat. Oh, she doesn't say anything, huh? Because I got to finish that quest thing. All right, that's fine. All right, so Emily, we're now better friends with because we did a commission for her. So that's another thing about the commissions is like, you want to get commissions for the people that you want to build your relationship with. Um, I'm learning that right now. Okay, let's, um, how, how's my inventory looking? I know I only have like one free space, right? All right, I have one free space, so that's going to be for wood is what it's going to be for. Uh, so let's get to chopping so that we can make ourselves at least two or three um, chests. And then what I'll do is I'll do a little bit of inventory management, organizing some stuff. Um, we're wasting a day of not being able to go down into the mines, uh, but honestly, we need the, um, the fuel to even be able to get anything out of it. So there's something on the ground over here that I wasn't able to pick up, probably fiber or something. But I think I have enough now to make... No, no, I need two more wood. Because um, it's 20 per. So I'll make a chest real fast, fill it with some stuff. Then I'll come back out, I'll chop down some more trees, we'll do the same thing. And uh, we'll get that bronze and copper um, cooking up. Because for this guy, we needed old parts, which I actually have, now that I remember. Right? Do 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 do. Place those. And now we just need the copper bars. Which we've got that one, right? And how many more do we have? We have oh, we have three! Perfect! We have exactly the amount that we need. Huzzah! Alright, you and you. Perfect! Retrieve! And now we're gonna place this guy here. Um I should find out how much it's gonna cost us to um actually we'll do it like maybe like right next to this guy if we can, yeah. Right here. Uh, please? There we go. Cool. So what, do we, what can we craft here? Copper blades, bronze pipes, copper pipes, pulleys. What does a copper blade cost? Two copper bars. We need three of those for one of our quests. Um, and I need to quickly check, what is this fishing rod going to cost us? Because I keep putting it off. Uh, wild cocoons. I need to kick trees to get cocoons. That's right. So that's something I need to be doing a little bit more of than a copper bar. So it's the cocoons that are going to hold us back on that. Um, as far as other stuff goes, let's make a chest again. Another wooden storage. Yep. I haven't even been thinking about like trying to fill out my home with like stuff, but I really should. Um, cotton. So cotton we'll be able to get once we start growing that, so that'll be great. I could make a, mar a stone table. I have marble. Let's make one of those as well. So let's put another chest down, like right here. Sure. Okay. So let's open you up. Um, and let's move some stuff around. So let's make... Hmm. Well, right now, I guess it doesn't matter which one has which. Wait, oh, customize. You can change the color! Oh, that's neat! That's perfect, because then we're going to be able to, you know, customize our storages, and then um, it'll be like, oh, this one's for food stuff. So we're going to make this one, like, seeds and food chests. Things that are, like, organically related stuff, right? Soil, sure. Um, wood would go in here. Cotton seeds, okay. Food. All right. Mucus, I guess. It's gross. Um, let's check this chest for any food related stuff. You know, furs. I think that, I think that fits give me this, give me this. Okay. And we'll make this chest more like, um, like less organic things. Machine related stones, spines. I guess those are from a sea urchin. Um, what's this for? Uh, oh, when placed in the house, additional attributes will take effect. So we're going to place that in our house. Awesome. Oh, that's neat. And what are these? Fertilizer. Yeah, that'll go in the other chest. Um, so then let's put this engine in here. This, yeah, that's going to be useful in the future. Bring over the worms, bring over this stuff. Uh, okay. So now this chest is suddenly like not very full because I'm moving everything to the other chest. So we're going to leave a couple other things in here. Old parts for sure. Stone for sure. Let's grab the marble so we can make the stone table. Um, okay, now this chest. Let's move you to here, you to here. All right. Yeah, here we go. This is nice. Now that I'm starting to have some inventory management going on. I'm happy with this. What's this? Delicate fur. Ah. Okay. Fertilizer. Yep. Sap. Yep. Cloth. 
you. All right. Uh, that'll do. That'll do. Perfect. Okay, cool. We can even put the snake berries in there. Okay. So we're gonna um, we're gonna customize this chest. Make it a little greenish. Yeah, a little bit darker green. Yeah, I dig it. All right. How much does this cost? Fifteen hundred gold to get a larger um, space. Good to know. Now. What's the spike practice sword cost? Five spines, some resin, which comes from logging, and a regular sword. Okay. Or is it an enhanced? So we do have to make the first one, then the next one, then the next one. So um, I do, I am curious, what is the benefit or the bonus that we get from this? It's only plus five. So making a sword is honestly going to be really powerful. A little bit of wood, a little bit of hardwood. We have three hardwood already. So we just need one more wood and we can make that as well. So let's make the um, stone table. Craft that. Framed, thank you. What's the sofa cost? Cloth and cotton, right? Uh, small planter box we obviously need to make. Do we have enough soil? We do. So we just need to make the um, the other thing. The civil cutter. That'll be our next one. Five stone bricks and two copper blades are what we're going to need for that sucker. We could totally do that. Um, okay. Let us get... Next up, we need to get some copper going. Where's my inventory for that? Boom. We do have some wood now, which is good. Um, so we'll get this started. Copper. Oh, it's refuel. Maximum. Yep. Seven hours. Awesome. Copper bars. Why do you... Did I not actually grab the stuff? I did not. Okay, cool. Because um, we're going to be doing a lot of this. All right. Copper bars. Maximum. Now, that might mean that we're not going to be able to make any bronze. Um, no, we have 41 and 4. So we can make 10 copper bars and 10 bronze bars if we wanted to. But it's at max right now for what it can do over time. So let's get some more fuel for that for sure. Let's go put our um, stone table down and our... Uh, what do you call it? The uh, the fan. Can I pick this up? I know you can retrieve these. Can you get to hit it with a pickaxe? No. Hold on. There's a way to retrieve these, right? I forget how. I feel like they said something like hit it with your axe or your pickaxe. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. So, so. All right, cool. So, we're going to put our table for now. We'll place it over here. I think that's fine. Again, looking at our builder's license. So, place that. Then we'll grab our stone stool. Place that right at it. So, you can, like, sit at it, right? So, I can sit at the table. Okay. All right, we're getting there. Oh, I love that. Oh my God, that's so cute. Look how she sits. She puts like her one leg up. That's adorable. Um, okay, and then... Doo -doo -doo -doo. I sit like that like all the time. Let's grab you. All right. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Fan. Oh, oh, it's on the, it goes on the floor. All right, well, you know what? We want this, um, the soothing sounds of this fan to help us uh, fall asleep. Okay. So we want to do it... Hold on. Just like this. Turn it on. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> nice. All right, our house is getting a little, uh, starting to get a little bit more stuff in there. All right, let's chop down a bunch of trees. We need so much wood. Um, and then, oh, and let's go get another, or let's look at the commerce stuff real quick. Just to see what's available. If there's a really good one, we'll grab it. Um, I need to be kicking trees for cocoons. Can't kick the ones in town, I guess. Okay. Come on. There we go. Where's Antoine? All right, what you got for me? Uh, I haven't met you yet. What's your name? Petra. The research center is requesting two rubber tires. I don't think I can make those yet. Sadly. Reject. Uh, what are you? I haven't met you either, Sam. Oh my gosh, look how cute you are with you. Oh my goodness. We, the Civil Court, need four copper blades in four days. We could maybe make that happen. It's 200. Four wooden storages. That's so easy. Our city is urgent need of two water tanks. Can't do that one yet. That's really expensive. Like that, I mean, that would have given us a lot of money. But how many days? Seven days. I can't make water tanks yet, and I don't want to risk, like, losing out on a commission. Commerce commission. And what does this one say? Like, what's with the different symbols up here? Um, 
five days to make two oh no we can't do rubber tires that's right so we're gonna do this one because this has an actual person who's we're gonna get a benefit from whereas this one we don't so i'd rather like build up relationships so we're gonna do this one so this is four copper blades for her so instead of doing our three copper blades that we're gonna give to amut or whatever that guy's name is um we're gonna give oh hello we haven't met you before are you the new builder i'm polly it's nice to see other people try to bring about the telesis of this world or at least that's what the mayor likes to say <laughs> Nice to meet you. So she is, it said, Mars's second daughter. Great on the last test. I wonder how well my sisters did. I didn't realize that he had, a, like, a big old family. That's adorable. I love when you learn that kind of stuff in these games, like, where you kind of, like, start to flesh out the characters. All right, let's go chop some trees. Let's kick some trees. Let's do all kinds of tree-related things. Um, oh, you know what I want to do real quick? What is it going to cost us to upgrade this again? We want to get the new work table as uh, soon as possible. Wooden boards, 2,000 gold, five old parts. All right, so we got to make the, um, what do you call that thing? Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. The cutter anyways. So we need tons of copper. <laughs> um, let's see, can we actually just go back down in there? We got some time. Obviously, like I said, I wanted to kick some trees and cut some trees. But can we, because we have a weak pass, can I just jump in here and just start digging again? I wonder. Yeah, all right, so we got a week pass, so I might as well just go ahead and get a whole bunch more copper, just so we're like kind of set. Um, and then we don't have to just like worry about it, you know? Now here's the question. Are the holes still here from that we dug earlier? Yes, they are. <laughs> I was not expecting that. All right, let's dig out all this copper. Might as well, right? Actually, let's go from the top. All right, cool. We're just going to get all this copper. Might as well get it all. Um, you know, we might get some other um, things as well. But it's mostly I want to uh, just have a nice little stock of it. And then we just don't have to worry about it for a while. And then we can just kind of get all the tree-related stuff that we need. So this is the mining-heavy episode with Price. Blah. Get all that minerals. What are you not? What are you doing? There's a thing. Hit it. Thank you. All right. Do, 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 do. More, more tin. So this is interesting. So there is kind of like a limit in these mines for how much you're going to be able to get out of it uh, until you're going to have to like move on to a different mine or move deeper and deeper in, which is going to take you more time. So that's interesting. And I guess that's what the elevator is about as well, right? It's like give 20, pay 20 to move it to a new location. Probably resets it is what I'm going to guess. That's what I'm going to guess. All right. Here we go. Nope. Okay. Now I guess I should... Hey, another data disk. I guess I should do the old, uh, let's look around. Oh, there's one over there. Sure, let's go ahead and lock that one in. Okay. Might as well, right? So we do need more old parts as well. We need five of them for the one upgrade. We're going to need a couple more for a couple of other things that we need to make. So I might as well start, like, actually looking around for old parts as well. Um, do, 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 do. And I don't think we can make bronze tools yet anyways. We do, I think, need the uh, upgraded station to be able to do that. So we're going to need lots of gold. We're going to need lots of stuff. All right, none. Oh, wait. Right below us. Okay. Do, 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 do. Give me the old parts, man. Give me the old parts. That's what I want. Old parts plus one. Nice. All right. Let's go looking around for some more stuff. But yeah, I am starting to think that, oh, it's possible that we may uh, have to change the elevator to a new location at some point soonish. Any more around here? I always want to like, oh, there's tons over here. Good. All right. So we'll, we'll do a couple of them over here. All right. Oh, y'all, I really dig this game. I hope y'all are enjoying it. And I don't mean to pun with dig there. Um, but like, there's just something about, you know me, farming games, anything like this, I really enjoy. There was another one, like, really close to the surface, wasn't there? All right. Um, I really enjoy farming-type games, as y'all probably have learned since you're watching stuff on my channel. That's how I kind of roll. Um, and this one, just the graphics, the characters, everything are just so well done. An eyeglass. I wonder if that's worth something. Like, some of this stuff, I think, is mostly valuable for its um, ability to be um, sold, honestly. Ooh, look. We can actually get to it through some copper. Let's do that. 
double duty here. Hey, we leveled up! Nice! Okay, so here's a question. Let's go into our character. What skills do we want? Toughness, maximum health increase. Maximum stamina increase, that's huge. Stamina cost decreases by 25. Oh my gosh, these would be so good. Decrease the cost of picking and, and, and um, harvesting. Ooh, y'all. Smooth talk, increase the chance to receive bonus points, increase the chance to receive bonus points from gifting. So all these are also gonna be great when we're like pursuing relationships. But man, I'm going for uh, toughness, man. We need, I mean, being able to increase your stamina amount, that's incredible. This game, with stamina being such a huge limiting factor on what you can accomplish, getting more of it is just huge. Just huge. And then for, for us to also be able to reduce the um, the cost of picking, it's going to be great. Picking in and, uh, oh, Ooh, there's deep, deep ones. My goodness, y'all. Oh, look, there's one right here. Let's get this one. And let's just, yeah, let's do a couple of these. And then once we get to, yeah, we got about an hour left down here. And then we should probably head out. Now notice, you know, I'm talking all about stamina, and yet we didn't even use all of our stamina today. But on days when I'm like, all right, I just got to chop a bunch of trees, that's going to be really important. Old parts and a data disc. Double duty. We almost have enough to get that, um, the, uh, crystal tree seeds. Which it seems to me, like, if that, so, when it says you get crystals from it. In my head, I'm imagining that those are power crystals. Which, if that's the case, is going to be incredibly, incredibly powerful to grow. Um, because power crystals are something you have to come down here to get. And so you're always limited by the ability to use those machines if you, um, uh... Do, 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 do. Don't have enough power crystals. All right, so we're gonna get this last one, and then we're going to be uh, heading back out. All right, what you got for me? Give me, give me, give me. Oh, parts. All right, cool. Let's uh, let's hit up our map. Let's get our butt out of here. Okay, and uh, now we got tons, 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 tons of um, copper. We got a good chunk of old parts, which we're gonna need. Um, so as far as completing this next commission, shouldn't be a problem. Let's go check on how many of our copper bars have actually been made. And let's see if we can't actually make a couple of the, um, uh, blades. Uh, cause we need four for the commission. We need three for the furniture maker. And then we're going to need two or so for the, um, lumber, or the, the saw blade thing, the sawmill. Um, and so that's total. We're looking at a lot of copper fuel depleted. Ah, uh, that sucks. Do I have any more wood on me? I don't think I do. I need to get some more to get that going. So, let's quickly get some more wood. Run, 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 run. Let's kick this tree first. Give me a cocoon. No, it can't kick you. Okay, can I chop you? I can still chop you. I love all the different designs that they have for the trees and things. It's pretty cool. What you got for me? Give me that wood. All right, there you go. 10 wood. We'll fuel that sucker up. You always want to, in my opinion, from what I've seen from playing this game a little bit, you always want to have all your stuff fueled up before you go to bed because it's going to keep working while you sleep. Um, so that's when you're going to get the most out of it. Uh, okay, let's uh, craft. Let's fuel you up. Confirmed. All right, now we got 15 hours worth. Yeah, we're good. Okay, now as far as the coppers that we have now, we can actually make, they each take two. Perfect, that's easy. So total, oh, these need power stones. Confirm. We have three days worth of power in this sucker. Let's uh, make one copper blade. Um, so this is one of the ones that uses power stones, right? So like I said, you know, if that crystal tree does actually grow power crystals, it's going to be insane. If it doesn't, then oh well. Uh, so now that's going to be it for this day, y'all. And that's going to be it for this episode. I hope y'all enjoyed this. This was a much longer episode than I had planned, but uh, I wanted to get a whole bunch of stuff done. So with that, y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode of My Time at Porsche. If you liked what you saw, please be sure to give this video a like, favorite, subscribe to the channel. My name has been Price. This has been Linda. Listen. And I will see y'all next time.